Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? This is your homeboy, Seven Dog 4 And I just want to say this. I got up from a nap earlier. Um, I slept most of the afternoon. I mean, I was up since like 7 o'clock this morning. Um, last night I went to my mom's house. Yesterday was her 62nd birthday. So we went to the bar. We partied it up. And, um, we ate, we drank some beers, and, uh, we turned around, went home, drank more beers, and, and then after that, um, we just kind of just played rummy, and, with her boyfriend, and my sister, she didn't do anything, she just kind of just went, went to bed after she got back from the bar and but the thing of it is you know uh the thing of it is that tonight is new year's eve and i want to say this to all my followers you know sorry i did not make a christmas video you know and say merry christmas and i want to say that too put that in there um but I'm stepping on a four online fitness coach, and uh, I'm gonna make some New Year's resolutions. I'm gonna make some New Year's resolutions, and I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna start saving more money. Um, that's my number one. That's my number one resolution right there. Um, try not to buy a whole lot of stuff that I don't need. You know, make better judgment. And two, um, I'm gonna try to quit. Uh, drinking. That's that's my second priority. Um, I'm kind of slowing down some on how much I drink um, a night. I mean, usually sometimes I would drink like four beers a night, and I was realized, man, this is costing me. And you know, twenty dollars here for a twenty case, or you know, just for just get a quick buzz on, and. To me, I'm not really an alcohol. I'm not an alcoholic, but it's like I like to drink just to relax, and and that's another thing I'm gonna be if, that, that I'm kind of afraid of that I'm turning in kind of my, might be turned into um, is an alcoholic because I've been drinking a lot lately, and I'm I'm gonna admit it. You know, I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna say I've been kind of drinking a lot lately, and. Um, but I don't go into work drunk, so I'm not really an alcoholic. Other than that, one time, um, I did go into work drunk. Um, nobody didn't even really notice it. And, but they probably smelled it on my breath and stuff. And, but they didn't really care. They knew I was in my work. So it was just like, eh, I'm winging it, you know. I mean, I just didn't care. Because the other guy, he went in that, you know, went after his ex, after his, he broke up with his girlfriend. You know, he went in there all the way drunk, flattered, and drinking so much. Yeah, I could just smell it on his breath and everything. And I said, you know, I think he's drunk. And, well, so, me, I only done that one time, and that was it. And I told myself I'll never do that again, because, you know, and even though I was so relaxed around her, I mean, I just didn't care what people said to me, you know, I just did my job, I just went in and did my work. But the thing it is, um, that's my other New Year's resolution is trying to drink, quit drinking. But I am going to drink tonight, because um, it is New Year's Eve, and I'm going to party up by myself tonight. Um, I know that's not good. <laughs> But if I had some people to party it up with, I mean, I'd be more than gladly to have somebody to party with. But since I really don't have no one to party with, I mean, I'm just going to do it by myself. And that way, nobody, you know, don't break anything in my house. Um, nobody doesn't, you know, try to pick a fight with me or whatever, or nothing gets stolen. Um, that's, that's the thing that I kind of worry about more than anything. Um... But, I want to say this, is that, um, 
My other New Year's loose life solution is trying to eat a little bit more healthier, a little bit more better. I think of this, eating healthy food is more a little bit more expensive on the expensive side um, than regular foods. You know, that's the reason why I don't really eat a whole lot of healthy foods because I just eat whatever I want. And I, you know, your health is your wealth. You know, that's what I've always been told. Um, but I get plenty of sleep. You know, I get plenty of sleep. I put plenty of water in me. Um, everybody, all the doctors say I'm healthy. That's to be. They, you know, they check my lungs every time I go to a doctor's appointment. Um, they, they look at my body and they're like, they're in pretty good shape. I say, other than strings in the once in a while, I said, they're in pretty good shape. And he says, maybe you might just want to slow it down on your workouts in the once in a while. And that's what he took the doctor and told me. And I said, well, I really don't want to because, you know, I love doing what I do. Um, I told him I had a YouTube channel. I said, you know, I don't overdo it on the YouTube channel, on the workouts or anything like that. If one area is hurting, I don't work that area out. That's just how I did it. But if it is hurting, usually sometimes it's just because I slept on it wrong or um, I've done a little too much the day before than what I should should have had. So, uh, and I want to say this, you know, uh, the last time I, I picked up a pack of cigarettes, um, I have not picked up another pack again. Um, I, that was like, I want to say probably in July sometime I picked it up, and I, I told a buddy of mine, and I said, man, you know, I kind of feel bad, and he says, I didn't keep to my promise, you know, like to everybody else, and, and he's like, well, what do you mean, and I said, well, I said, I bought a pack of cigarettes. I said, I was mad. I was pissed off. And I said, I needed something. And I was just craving a cigarette on top of everything. And, um, I went out and bought me a pack. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll smoke. You know, let's get my craving out of the way. And I ended up buying the pack. I made it smoke. Four cigarettes out of it, and it wasn't even good for me. I mean, I, I just couldn't do it anymore. And and then, well, I figured, well, I'll just go ahead and finish the pack up. And then after that, quit it. And I never did pick up another pack again. And I, and I told him, and I made a promise to him, and I said, bro, I said, you need to make me promise to you, you know, not me buy a pack of cigarettes. And he's, he's like, alright. He's like, don't ever buy a pack of cigarettes, and I want you to promise me that. And he's, he said it like that, and I said, okay, deal. And so, ever since then, I never bought a pack of cigarettes, and I quit cold turkey. You know, you do, you know, if you're a smoker, you know, you do get your cravings back in once in a while. But you just, you know, you might just have like a few out of them, or you just might have that one pack, and you know, and you just don't smoke again, you know. But, you know, I do have habits. You know, some habits are hard to break in you know, once in a while. But, um, but I am trying. I am trying my best. Um, it's just kind of hard. Um, but the thing it is, is that you know, I have been good on the not smoking. I have been good on that. Um, I don't chew, so that's, I don't, I've tried chewing before, I don't like to chew, I mean, chewing is disgusting, I don't know how anybody does it, um, but I do drink, that's one of my bad habits, I, I do do, do do, <laughs> I made it funny, <laughs> do do, you know, at least it don't stink around your, <laughs> with do do, you know, but, um, but yeah, it's just, um, I do have a little bit of a drinking problem, so, but I don't want to control me, you know, I, I put myself at a limit, you know, I might say, hey, I want to drink maybe four beers tonight, and then call it good, 
and, and you know, and that's just how I do it. You know, I always put a limit on what I can drink. And if I feel like I have to drink more than four, then I'll drink more than four. I said, but usually I, I usually put a limit on myself on how many I can drink. I'm really not drunk around that many. I see. I might have a buzz, and that's all I want it for. I mean, I don't get totally drunk how most people do. Most people get totally drunk and wasted. Me, I have four, and I'm good, and I just get a quick buzz off. And, and I'm good for the rest of the night. And that's that's what helps me sleep at night. Some, some alcohol don't. Um, but I know whiskey, it makes me sick. Um, I don't know what it is in whiskey, it is the, uh, I guess it's the ingredients that it has with it. The ingredients that it has with it and everything. Um, but, it is what it is, you know, um. I can do other alcohols, but I'm, I don't really like the taste of them. Um, that's the reason why I stick with like three that I drink. I drink Coronas, I drink Keystones, I drink, actually there's four of them that I do like. Uh, actually there's, no, there's five. I like Coors Banquet, the regular Coors, not just newer Coors. Not the Coors Light. I mean, I don't like it. Um, but I do like the regular cores off of Color Kai, the Color Kai beer, um, that J Johnny and John Crease drink. Um, I do like Bud Light. That's my second best choice. Um, Keystone is my third. Corona is my fourth. I can't really do Coronas all the time because it's just too hard on my stomach. Um, but I can drink it. But it's just, I, if I'm going to drink, I would prefer that when I'm out in public. Um, but, because um, it's more of a stronger beer. Um, and I can drink Bush Light. I don't really care too much for Bush Light. Um, it has a weird taste to it. Um, I don't like the texture of it, but it is good beer. I mean, I mean, I could drink those, uh, really good without no problem and not have a hangover the next day on it. Um, most people can drink and drink, 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 and then they get a hangover the next day. Me, if I drink, I stay with one alcohol three hours a night, and that's what I drink on. I said I learned my lesson the past two times um, when I went out drinking and I mixed my drinks up and I I mixed my drinks up and everything and I ended up um, having a little too much than what I thought and then I was just like okay uh Well, <laughs> I'm wasted, and, and I kind of blacked out, and so I couldn't remember what I've done that in them two times, and I told myself I'll never do that again, never, ever, ever get blacked out like that on alcohol again, and, and, I, and I kept that promise, and so usually if I do drink, I drink only the one beer that I do have. And, that, and that's it. And I say with that one beer that I had been drinking on ever since I got out the place or wherever destination I'm at. And that's what I do. And um, if, I've, if I have far to drive, I mean, I only have like two beers. You know, if I go to the bar by myself and if I have far to drive, I might go in for like two beers and that's it. And, and then if I want to go out to the public and drink a little bit, you know, if I'm driving. But if I'm staying with my mom... Usually, I'll have a little bit more than what I normally do because she'd be the one drive. So, um, other than that, I want to say Happy New Year's 
happy late Christmas. You know, I want you guys to be safe if you're drinking. Uh, I want you guys to be safe and courteous. Don't get locked up. Um, you know, be kind, be humble to one another. Help each other out if the other person is sick. You know, if I'm drinking too much, um, if you're throwing a party, um, just have a blast. Let loose. Enjoy yourself. And, um, just be yourself, be who you are, and, so like I said, man, let, and, and men and ladies, you know, just be safe, be, um, just be you guys, and, you know, I've been drinking Frappuccino, uh, mocha flavor, I'm a little hyper right now, I normally don't drink this that much, but, I was in the mood for it today. I had some yesterday on it. I've kind of been kind of a little hooked on it um, for energy boost um, when I don't have no soda throughout the day or whatever. Um, but like I said, just be yourself, be who you are, and train hard, train smart. But those are some of the New Year's resolutions I'm going to try to do. My number one one I am going to try to do more of is save money more and, you know, get where I need to be at in life. And, um, and I got some other goals that I might end up doing. Um, I might, like I said, I might join a gym somewhere. Um, you know, I have a gym down in my grandma's basement, but... I can only do so much there, I mean, with what I have, um, I'm not, with what I have, I'm not really seeing results, I mean, I do see some results, but I don't really see a whole lot of results, um, but I'm, I'm gonna probably just start switching up my diet plan, you know, on what I eat and everything, I can't really eat salads, um, due to my dentures, I do have dentures in. I said, if y'all wondering how come teeth are always so straight, always so perfect, it's because I have dentures in. Um, yeah, I may look like a freak, but you know, I really don't care. You know, <laughs> uh, people say I look a lot better with them in now. Um, ever since I got my teeth worked on, I mean, I hadn't had no girlfriend or anything. But, with them, I said other than online, but, but I hadn't been really online dating for a while now. Um, I've been talking to this one girl online, some, <laughs> but I hadn't really, um, I hadn't gone really too far with her to push it because I'm kind of like taking it kind of slow, see where it's going to lead to. Um, but I mean, I really don't really try anything to do anything, you know, with her that much. I mean, I do, I do acknowledge her, you know, I always tell her, you know, hey, you know, she's having a bad day. And I always think of something positive, you know, and turn it around, you know, turn her negativity into something good. Um, and she's introduced me to her family and stuff, and, you know, just kind of, like, taking it slow with her. I'm, I mean, I'm not rushing. I said, we, we've been seeing each other for almost, hmm, I'm going to say maybe a year, a little over a year now. Almost a year come next March. So, it's like, I've been kind of taking it slow with her on, I mean, that's my thing, you know, and she, she's been very helpful with me and everything, very helpful with me and everything, and helped me get through my problems, what I have. And, um, you know, you can still be friends with somebody over in different countries 
not even know them from an Adam and Apple and still have a, a bond with somebody and it don't even really have to be a serious relationship, you know, you can always, you know, be like, okay, you know, you know it's not going to be real online, but, you know, you can still have that connection with your feelings with the person and, you know, at least you're, you're not alone. So, that's how I look at it and, uh, And this one treats me better than what my last person I was dating online. Um, the last person, she kind of was kind of selfish in a way. I mean, she kind of like basically wanted the phone, wanted, um, she kind of wanted a. Uh, She kind of wanted to, you know, this and that, and and she was just all about the money. And she went, she went, she showed me to her family. She went and showed me to her siblings, and she always talked about them to me. But she wouldn't show me to her siblings or anything. So one day I asked her. I said, you know, I don't think we can go on. I just told her. I said, I don't think we can go on dating, and. And I said, you're not going to introduce me to your family. And so I ended up quitting seeing her. And I kind of just kind of quit talking to her. And then she texted me out of a clear blue on WhatsApp. And saying that this is that. So I answered and I talked, you know, with her. And all she was wanting to do was argue with me and say, you've been pulling around with another woman. I said, well... I said that you get the hint. I said I was done with you. I said you wouldn't show me to your family. I said you wouldn't show me to your brothers and sisters. And I said I want to see I want to see your family. And I said this one the one I'm with now. I asked her, I said, hey, would it be all right if you introduced me to your family? And she was all up for it. And so that was like the next step with her. And my family, they kind of despise um, online dating. They don't like online dating. They like the old fashioned way, just pick somebody here, ask them out, and everything. Well, me, I can never get somebody around here. I mean, I've tried everything in the damn book, and every woman that I try asking out, they always tell me no. So, or either that, they always say, oh, I'll have a boyfriend, or I'm getting married, or they say that I'm too nice, and so that's the reason why I do online dating. And it's not too bad doing online dating. But you just kind of kind of watch out for red flags, you know, if they're using you, um, that's another advice I can give you. Or if they ask too much of something for it from you all the time, that's another red flag. Um, but if, um, if they show you to their family and they show you to, you know, their kids or whatever, then... They tell you, oh, they've been divorced and stuff like that. And that's what she went through. And so, in which, you know, it's kind of odd that her kids are kind of looking up to me, too. And um, they have, she has a little one. Um, and she has an, a, a teenager. Her teenager looks up to me more than anybody. I mean,. You know, for answers, and you know, when she's having a bad day, you know, I always tell her, you know, hey, you know, you know, everybody gets them. You know, we're not all perfect. You know, if we were, only one person is perfect, and I said it's God, and I said nobody's gonna have a perfect day. You know, and you know, we all get our bad moments. But I'm just saying this. Um, I just want to say happy. Happy New Year's Eve. I don't know really what else to much to talk about. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's like I'm gonna be going to a party later on. 
no, I'm not going to be drinking because there's not going to be any alcohol. And I said, I don't know if there is, but I doubt it. But, um, but I might go there for an hour and spend some time with some friends. And then, uh, then probably head back home. Probably do whatever I want to do around here. Probably upload this video for you. And like I said, I made this video a little too longer than what I should have. But like I said, Happy New Year's. Um, Happy New Year's to the people in Venezuela. Because that's where my woman's from. Uh, that I've been dating. And... Uh, And Happy New Year's, not just to Venezuelans, to other countries. And Happy New Year's to uh, everyone around in the United States. And like I said, you know, just be thankful that you have another day of life. And be thankful that, you know, you are fruitful and mindful of other people. And like I said, God bless. Always count your blessings. Please hit the like, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And get every one of my videos. And... I'll see you in the next video. Peace.